Well, it did strike me, all right, that, you know, there's lots of dolls being used and things and nobody has uh, tested the sanctity of the, 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 the teddy bear. Um, kind of, really, it was like a bit of a protest film in one way for me because I've made a few short films and by trying to make them make sense and to explain everything, they were getting longer and longer and they used to end up at maybe 18, 19 minutes, which isn't great for short films, I've been told, like that to keep them kind of kind of tight, but I, I couldn't make them any short because I was trying to explain reasons for this or that uh, within the particular films. So basically with Teddy, because I went to a couple of festivals and some of the films were good, but a lot of them made absolutely no sense. And I was thinking, I said it to one guy at a festival that was running it, I said, you know, do these things have to make sense or what? And this was last year. And he said, well, you know, it's open to interpretation or whatever. So that I was cleaning the house one day and hoovering my daughter Jessica's room and she had a big teddy over in the corner. And I kind of just started thinking, you know, the cleaning person came in and the teddy was kind of uh, watching her. Uh, so it was just as simple as that. It, it was probably the least I've worked on any of my short films, but um, I don't know, it seems to have kind of, um, it seems to have a bit of a life of its own. She did a great job. I met her last week at another festival, actually, and uh, no, she was great. It was like one big laugh, really, because Angela didn't, I didn't give her any script or anything. I don't do that. You know, I kind of had it all in my own head what I was trying to get out of it. And she absolutely nailed it. And, uh, but she didn't really know um, what was going to happen, or, you know, uh, after the editing and all that. So uh, she still hasn't seen it. So um, she's she's been on to me a bit, but I, I can't kind of release it out because it's still in a few festivals um, up to about November. So, uh, no, she was great, very professional. We did the whole thing, I'd say, two and a half hours. And uh, my, my wife, my wife is the assistant in the film, if you like. She's Carol, the girl on the um, phone talking. She, she did the, the car sequences because Angela isn't driving at the moment and things like that. So we did the other bits and pieces around the footage we had then. And, uh, you know, the likes of the phone calls were done after I got her to do the dialogue, obviously, but I kind of put in the creepy voice later on then and things like that. So she hasn't seen it. So I think hopefully she'll, she'll like it. The first film I made was 19, uh, 19, 2016, 2016, and it was a horror film. And I just find they're the easiest to make. And um, I think, you know, an amateur film maker on zero budget you know it's going to be hard to kind of film a courtroom drama or just horror films are so accessible I think uh, if you use your imagination a bit um, and people like them you know I think the, even at any festivals I go to anything that's spooky always goes down pretty well like um, but for me it's I find them the easiest to make I've made three or four of them now and um, the process of making them is such fun as well, messing around with effects and um, just thinking up how to do something cheaply. Like, and my father helps me with a lot of that, even though he's 91, but he loves that. We, we go into the garage down his house and we had to make a skeleton for my last film, Minus 40. And uh, I mean, the, the kind of fun we have kind of in that process and, uh, and the trial and error and stuff. That, that's that's the thrill for us. We like just making something out of nothing. And horror films, are, you know, I think are the most accessible. Uh, you know, I, I like. I just, I, it just, especially even with that song at the end. It, it, you know, you could make a load of these. I was just thinking, but you see, this one. Obviously, I can't do a second one unless somebody has seen the first one, but I already had a Teddy fought the law and Teddy won kind of a video. Uh, the two detectives arrived the next morning. There's no body. There's blood all over the place. And again, you can kind of start it all over again. That 
they're, they're in looking around the house, but Teddy's there. But, you know, uh, and so you could actually, it was something like that, actually, uh, that intrigued me as well. You could, you could make eight or nine of those, you know, Teddy goes to the disco and, you know, I just think it was, uh, I think it's a good idea. But as I say, to put the effort into making another one, it's pointless unless somebody has seen the first one, I suppose. So 